white TR7 water pump. Same as the standard water pump, this one's a 12 vein, obviously, cut the 12 veins around the outside. Um, it's quite common when you pull these things out that they come out with the cage separated. If the cage comes out separated, you will need to replace some of the seals. Now, I don't know how many miles this thing's done, so, um, I th oh, hello, Mr. Spider, what are you doing down there? Now, rimmers very helpfully provide this, uh, this breakdown of all the parts that they're going to supply, which is nice, isn't it? Now, where are we? First and foremost, we've got the nut on the top to undo. Bear in mind, that nut is left-hand threaded, all right? So it's a righty-loosey. And it's also going to be our three quarters, there we are. So when I go righty-loosey, it should come off. Now, sometimes they're a little bit on the tight side. Sometimes they come off and they behave themselves. It depends. It could well be that some enterprising individual has glued the fucker on in the past i don't know we might have to grip this with some cardboard from the vice here in one second there's a little midge thing flying around here generally just irritating me right let's pop that in there let's clamp it in the vice here we go now, clamp 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 Fucking hell, this thing's tight. There it goes. It's a righty loosey thread. There we go. And the washer comes off with it. Nice big fat washer. Nice big left hand threaded bolt, which looks quite good. Right, okay. Now we're going to need to drift the, uh, the, the shaft off. Now, how I've done this in the past has really been to kind of position the pump thus I just very very gently tap the shaft down sometimes they come off dead easy sometimes they're an absolute bastard now underneath here it's all going to fall on the fucking floor I'm afraid I can't hold it with my finger there it is right so we've got the shaft out we've got the impeller out the impeller's obviously been sitting in water for some time but it doesn't actually look that old the impeller so it's really just a case here of cleaning up the, the surfaces and so forth. Let's come back to here. Yeah, the face that the, uh, what's its name, that the seal orif goes on to, that's all right. The top face is okay. Um, and we've got the shaft. So, taking this one apart, let's put these drifts away, we don't need them. They can all go in there. Now, what we've basically got on here, we have got the main seal at the top, and that is looking particularly chewed up. So I think it's probably a good job that we were changing this over. It's not pretty. Then we've got the upside down cup. This is obviously a refurbished water pump rather than a new one. Then we've got the seal, orf, orf. Then we've got the bearing, which is held in place with a circlip. Right, I'm going to need to mount it in the vice. I can get the circlip open, but what I can't do is then get it to, to raise up. So it needs almost, as I, as I open it up, I'm going to need to, um, to, to basically clip the circlip into an upright position. So let me go into the vice. It's going to be the easiest way of doing it. Okay, I've got the circlip uh, free. Um, they're, they're a pain in the ass to get off these things because they're quite freaky and the, the bearing's turning and kind of, yeah, oh dear, anyway, circlip's off. So we've got the things still in order from whence they come off. We've got the bearing needs to come off next. Um, now, the bearing normally um, does come off fairly easily. Just thinking about it. So here we are, Mr. Vice. We'll put the bearing lip on the edge of the vise and all I really want to do is to tap the shaft through. Now this washer underneath here I need to hang on to that so just being careful of that edge there. Uh, open the vise up a little bit and the bearings off and the washer underneath it. Okay so we'll lay all those bits out. Now what have we got left? We've got a little o-ring on here and then we've got this, this all this chunk now is just one piece it's one casting. Right, so thrust washer can go back on again. He's looking good. I 
and then we've got the bearing. Put the bearing on. All this lot came from Rivers, it was just a water pump rebuild kit. It's fairly easy to put these things together. Certainly feels better than the old one. Um, and that bearing can go on there. Now what we need to do, again, we need to be very, very careful. But we need to tap the bearing onto the shaft. not very happy about it. Just make sure it goes on straight. He is. I'm using a nylon hammer on the end of the um, shaft here. There it goes. And he's on, and I can see the clip there for the sir clip. Groove is there. That's good news. Bearing feels nice. Right, the sir clip's in place. Next, we've got the brand new oil seal goes on, followed by its little top hat. It goes over the top there. I've pulled the O ring off the end of the shaft there because um, that needs to be replaced. Um, so we've done that. We've done that. We've done that. We've got the water seal next, which is, or, or this is what the water seal should look like. Yeah, strange, wasn't it? Okay, that goes on that way up. Okay. And then we've got the O-ring at the top here. So let me get the O-ring next. Tiny O-ring. It's a big O-ring. Big O-ring. Small O-ring, which is that one there, 146760. Is this thank you for all the bags, River Brothers? It's absolutely outstanding of all these bags, I love them. Okie doke. Now, let's just check for any burrs in here. No burrs, line him up. He's lined up. Are we level all the way around? We are, I think. Let's put that on there and then. So that's it in. So the water pump and the bearing are now in, which is good. Come back over here, please. Get back down to the piece of paper. Then we've got the water seal that goes over the top. Now that sits into the top of the cage like that. Okay, that's the idea behind it. We've got the new O-ring on the top there, and then the impeller will go back onto the top of that. Uh, before we do the impeller, what I would like to do is get these old O-rings off. So we've got two O-rings on the outside of the cage. We'll take those off. Two O-rings outside of the cage. Now, the top one is 170, which is that one. All plastic. We love all this plastic. We love it. The top one needs to go up to the top groove. There he is in the top groove. And then the other one is 169. It's the bottom one. I don't know if they're different. I've no idea. That was slightly fatter. It is slightly fatter, that. Right, okay, that's good news. We've done all that. A thousand plastic bags. Thank you. Burn that later on. That's rubbish. We've got the top bolt and the washer. That's rubbish. I don't know what that washer's for. It's not for the uh, righty loosey, righty tighty um, impeller bolt. We've got the impeller bolt, which is the last thing. Then we've got all of this crap, which I'll lob in here just in case there's any problems. We've got the rebuilt water pump parts. What was that half an hour? I think. So back over to the vise. Uh, what I want to be doing now is tapping the shaft down so it goes into the impeller. So 
that is nicely on there oh that's nice that is a good feel now we've just got to put the bolt back in the top so we'll use the new bolts and the old washer again left hand thread lefty tighty don't go berserk with it it doesn't need to go berserk with it you don't need to go absolutely you know medieval on doing this nut up just do it up all right one rebuilt water pump that is good now 